As Child Abuse Prevention Month comes to an end, folks with Child Protective Services want you to know that they're doing everything that they can for these children in our community. Shatanya Clark has more on how CPS workers are working to protect children and strengthen families. Well, Darrell, CPS investigators say they're always finding resources for parents that in turn reduces the risk to children in the households. They have provided parenting classes, um, NA. Stephanie Lyde is a mother of two who says she has had more than one run-ins with CPS. My experiences aren't very good ones <laughs> with, with, uh, with them, but they have helped me a lot to keep uh, my, my children. Lyde says she believes there are instances where CPS intervention is absolutely necessary in homes and says she has benefited from having them around. I know what to do and what not to do. I've gotten a lot more um, patient with people with this whole experience, should I say, because it takes a lot of patience not to just come unglued when somebody's coming at you about your kid. CPS investigator Katie McCarthy says while reports of abuse and neglect decreased over the course of the pandemic, that does not mean it was not happening. There's just a huge need for assessing risk and safety and to um, adjust kind of how we do things and making visits, but Abuse and neglect doesn't stop just because there's a pandemic and we just have to be more creative on how we assess it. McCarthy says their main goal is keeping families like Lides together and providing resources for them so they're able to properly care for and protect their children. I know we get a lot of negative, but we literally get the opportunity every day to drastically change people's lives, whether that's um, providing a resource for them, um, knowing that there's outreach, that there's different programs that they might not be aware of that can help reduce the stress in the home and get them what they need to be a successful family. We always look for resources. We look for family members. We look for, you know, if we can put maybe like a safety plan, a safety measure in place to mitigate that risk, we absolutely w will. They're not bad people. They're not here to, 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 to mess up your life. I mean, you know, that's not what they're here for. They're here to help you. McCarthy says it is a tough job and it takes the community coming together as they continue to work their hardest to protect children in the community. Now, McCarthy also says where, when there is an allegation, they're sure to look at the entire picture to determine neglect and abuse. And despite what some may think, their hope is to keep families together. Working hard to keep those families together, indeed. Okay, Shatanya, thank you very much for that report.